Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So, it's not in focus. Have I gotten requests to do this video? No, I haven't, not really. So, today I'm going to be giving you guys an updated makeup tutorial. I'm trying to figure out my headband. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Now, I'm going to be giving you guys my holy grail. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients that save you time. Green Chef introduces you to new ingredients and flavorful dishes that support a healthy lifestyle. Green Chef also saves you time by taking care of meal planning, grocery shopping, and most of the prep for you week after week so you don't have to. Raise your food quality standards in the new year with Green Chef, and you'll be amazed by the tasty, crave-worthy meals you've cooked. Green Chef has honestly been a lifesaver because I've been trying to eat healthier and find new recipes. With Green Chef, you don't have to worry about buying too many ingredients you won't end up using from the store or doing research to find quick, healthy, step-by-step -step tutorials. I personally never would have made this dish, but I'm so happy I did. It was a simple and easy process that ended up being so delicious. As you can see, everything comes pre-packaged and all the ingredients come perfectly portioned. One thing I'm terrified of is uncooked chicken or chicken not being cooked long enough. But with Green Chef, step-by-step -step guides, including cooking times, are included so there's never any guesswork. Just in time for the new year, Green Chef is introducing an easier way to eat keto. With their new limited time Keto Kickoff 2023, you can now order keto meals for breakfast and dinner. Whether you're keto curious or can't get enough, you'll find more delicious keto options than ever before, including recipes on the menu as well as meal bundles in the green market. Use my code PAGETAYLOR60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com for more details. <laughs> mm. So, starting off, you always want to start off with a fresh face, okay? I don't wash my... I'm sorry. I literally just use water. Like, at night after I take off my makeup, I use like a makeup wipe. And then I'll just like use water. <laughs> Then I use a towel and I just wipe my face. And that's what I do. So you know what? Maybe that's the secret to life. I don't know. So first off, I have this thing. I cannot put on foundation or like anything on my face makeup wise unless I have like a moisturizer on first. And it has to be like a very moisturizing moisturizer, if you know what I mean. Like same thing with my lips. I can't put on lip gloss or lipstick just by itself because it like gets gross. I don't know if that's just me. But first off, I'm going to start with my lips with the... I don't know how to say this, but the Laneige, Laneige, Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It's not the best, um, here I'll show, I'll show you guys. It's not the best like regular average chapstick, but I like it because it's very thick and it lasts, but it doesn't absorb into your lips if that makes sense. So it's kind of, it gives me mixed emotions, but it feels good and I definitely need that right now. Now, starting with moisturizer. Um, this is one that I use. This is my holy grail. This is a Fenty Skin. I don't know what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's just like moisturizer. Fenty Skin Moisturizer? I don't know. But, um, it's a little pump like this. I just literally use like two pumps. You go like this. And there's also SPF in it, so it's like a win-win. But just look. So my skin looks dry as fuck, right? This is literally my secret to when I'm not wearing makeup, how I make my skin look so glowy and like hydrated and stuff. Look. Just wait. Look at that. Like, okay, it's a little red because I just rubbed it, but stuff is like amazing and it feels so good. Okay, and then next, I like to use the Mario Badescu eye cream. This is the caffeine, um, caffeine eye cream. I like it just because it, it feels really cold and good around my eyes, especially when my eyes are puffy or like if I didn't sleep good the night before or whatever, it feels really, really good. Also, this, I like it too because it's very, very hydrating to where when I put my foundation on, it's literally going to like blend. Like, remember? Okay, some people I see mix their foundation with their lotions, which is 
basically what I do, you know what I mean? Now for foundation, I jump right into foundation. Um, these, okay, these two are my favorite. This one's still in the box because it's a shade lighter than the one that I usually get, so I haven't opened it yet, but I got a new one. But this foundation is my favorite foundation ever. Um, it's the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. This is what it looks like, and I'm in shade 10, but this one's shade 9. This stuff is very light coverage, but it feels good. It's very lightweight. It blends so nicely. But this is the other one I've been using is the Makeup by Mario foundation. This one's in 6W, and it's been sold out everywhere. And I was so surprised that I found this at the Sephora next to my house. Also, you guys, I'm so stupid. I literally went to open this, and I twisted it off like this, right? And I thought this was the, was the applicator. And I was like, what is this? Like, it's literally plastic, right? And I was like, am I stupid? So I looked up people reviewing it, and it's a pump. I use one pump, barely that much, right? And then I get a beauty blender, and I don't, like, dampen it. Like, I used to, like, drench it in water, like, run it underneath the faucet or whatever, but I literally just get this spray. This isn't the, this isn't the facial spray. This is, I just refill this bottle with water because I like the bottle. But I just spray it a few times, and then kind of, like, put it in there. And then you just kind of tap it and get going. But look at this. I don't really like heavy coverage foundations, but this one is a very like, it's not too much. You know what I mean? Like it blends very nicely. It looks like skin literally. When the girl was um color testing me, I was like, wow, like I need this right now. I don't really put foundation on my forehead unless it's like in the middle between my eyebrows. But then I always do my eyelids because my eyelids are kind of veiny and red. So I kind of just go like that. Um, I like to do contour next. So I use the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. This is in shade Mocha. I just draw a line on my cheekbones like that. And then I like to use a brush for this. I use this one. It's so old. I got it. I sold it for my mom when I was like 12 or something. But I just use this to go like this. And that's it. And then the... <laughs> Um, then I use my beauty blender to blend it more. Concealer next. This is the Fit Me concealer. I've tried a bunch of concealers as well, like the Tarte Shape Tape. I have tried this one too, the Tarte C Hydro concealer. They're all good, it's, but this one is the best one that I found because it blends so nicely and it doesn't do that thing that I was talking about, the separation thing, you know? A little bit just to brighten them. That was a lot. Then I use this little beauty blender to blend my concealer. And then I use my bigger one again to blend. And then for blush, I like to use the Rare Beauty one. This one is insanely pigmented and bright. This is in shade Lucky, because when I bought it, it was the only one that was in stock, and I bought it a while ago. And look at how bright this is. I dead ass have to put like two like tiny things like that, and then on my nose, I just go like that. I use a brush, and then I just, I don't want my, my beauty blender to get all pink, but look at this. Like, it's so bright and pink. It's crazy. I go in with my blender again to fix everything. Now that all it's blended, and now it's time to go in with the powder. Powder is my number one thing. Oh my gosh, okay. I use the Laura Mercier, this one. Um, this packaging is really pretty. I think it's like a new version, but this is just a translucent powder. And I just, like I said, my nose gets so oily. So then I use this beauty blender with this flat side. And I basically just only bake like my nose. That sounds so weird, but I literally just go like this like bake it and like around it okay like that and then i just put powder with this like everywhere on my face okay and then i let that sit on my nose i go in with my eyebrows so i just use this 24 hour brow setter by benefit i don't put anything in my eyebrows like i don't color them in or anything so this thing like shapes them so well because my eyebrow hairs are definitely really heavy but just look, okay, so that's what my eyebrow looks like right now. And then I just kind of like get it all in there like this. I've always had trouble shaping my eyebrows because they're so heavy and thick and like long, you know? So I go like that. And then I get this spoolie slash angled brush. It looks disgusting, I know, because it's literally flat. But that's the whole point. You use this flatness, right? And then you just brush it up so it like stays like that. Eyebrows are done. Now I'm moving on. I go in with. It depends on what I'm feeling because I'll either use both of these eyeliners are kind of like done, so I usually like use both of them. But this is the Stila. 
stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner. I only like using liquid eyeliners and waterproof ones because my eyes are really watery and they're always, my eyeliner will always smudge. And then I have this one, which is the, I can't even read it anymore. It's so, oh, I think it's just Maybelline. It's just some kind of Maybelline eyeliner. So I go in with this one first and then, okay, I don't know how to do this. Okay, I'm gonna look over here, sorry. Okay, see how it's kind of like, eh? Like it's, it's on, but it's not very dark. So then I have to go in with this one and like fix it. It's all good, I can't tell. Then if it ever gets too thick, I like, I just literally just use my nail and I'll like make a line. This is getting so bad. There we go. Eyeliner is done. And now I just take this bigger fluffy brush and I just brush off and blend in all of the powder. And then I go in with my Fenty Beauty bronzer. This one is in shade Caramel Cutie and it's Sunstalker is the name of the bronzer, I'm pretty sure. And I just use a small brush like this. This one's just angled. And Okay, and then again, I'll blend it with the big brush. I think my biggest fear is things not being blended. Like, I think that's so embarrassing. And then I use my Dior blush, um, Rosy Glow, and it's the Dior Backstage. I like to use this brush. It's just like a little bit smaller and it's a little more combined, I mean. This blush is literally so pretty. But another one that I use that's really good as well is the Milani blush in 01 Dolce Pink. So good. And then again, blend it all out. And then last but not least is highlighter. So actually, I've been kind of liking my face without eyeliner. Oh, you know what, actually, before that, let me like brush out my eyelashes because they look a little scary. This is the one that I use. It's a Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. Just do a little few pads. Same thing here. And then I just blend it with my finger. And then I just kind of rub it underneath my eyebrow too. But and I'll kind of bring that onto my nose and my bridge as well. Like that. And then I just take a little bit and I go in my inner corner as well. Okay, so my my favorite lip liner is this Makeup Forever um, Aqua Lip in shade 14C. It's literally beautiful, but I haven't sharpened it. I just overline a little bit. I don't like overlining, overlining. So look at this, and then a little bit on the bottom like that, and I just blend it. Like that. And then I like to use the Dior lip oil and then I just put that over it. All right, that is my makeup routine. I should get the headband on, my hair looks literally terrifying. Anyways, okay, well thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed. All right guys, I'll see you guys next time.